Hello Chats Board students and staff, welcome to CFES News. My name is Niku, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Broadcast Cal here with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone stand up and say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, everyone. Now get out there and explore, discover, and create. Broadcast Cal, out. Today is Friday, April 22nd. It is Sea Day of the Latter Day Cycle. Today is Earth Day. Earth Day, everyone. Here are two facts that will blow your mind. One, less food waste means less greenhouse gas. Many people may not know this, but the more food we waste and do not consume, the more greenhouse gases are emitted to transport and bi biodegrade the waste. Two, the top emitter of carbon dioxide. China, with a population of 1.4 billion, is currently the top emitter of carbon dioxide, accounting for 30% of global carbon emissions. Upcoming events. Today is Healthy You, Healthy Earth, Earth Day. Here is your morning message from Principal Clark. Good morning, Chad's Ford Chargers. Happy Earth Day to you. Today, we have an exciting opportunity to celebrate here at Chad's Ford the first ever Healthy You, Healthy Earth celebration. Today at Chad's Ford, each of our students will take a special chance to participate in activities that will celebrate wellness for you, your classroom, your teachers, and our school. We are going to kick off this morning with a special guided meditation, and that will lead us into classroom rotations where you will meet with other teachers and do great activities to celebrate a healthy you and a healthy earth. This afternoon, we'll also have a special assembly in the gym and then from there, each grade level band will be presented with something special that will be unique to your grade level and help teach you a little bit more about how to have a healthy you and a healthy earth. So I hope today brings you a great learning opportunity, a chance to celebrate wellness, a chance to relax and enjoy the school day. And coming back from spring break, I know you are ready to celebrate a healthy you and a healthy Earth Day. I'm turning it over to Liv Thomas now, who's going to tell you a lot more about Earth Day. Have a great Charger Day, everyone. Hello everybody, my name is Liv, a fifth grader here at Chad's Ford Elementary, and I would like to talk to you about how we can make our, earth, our school eco-friendly. A famous quote from John F. Kennedy says, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. In our case, let's ask what, not what our earth can do for us, but what we can do for our earth. Lately, our climate has been getting warmer and warmer due to the global warming. There are many companies and entrepreneurs already starting to invest in ideas to make our earth less polluted and set back global warming. There are companies like Ether, a startup that makes diamonds out of carbon dioxide, or companies that are more well known like Tesla. They make electric cars, reducing carbon emissions by emitting none. We can help our earth by making sure we recycle, and I'm sure that there will be re recycling bins in our school soon. We can compost. There's a new composting club coming this spring. Try not to waste materials like papers and pencils. A lot of it is made from trees, and this matters because trees suck up carbon dioxide in the air, and when you're making pencils and paper, it um, takes up trees. And um, carpooling is great too. It, it cuts down carbon emissions, and buses do the same thing. We can make sure that we are energy efficient when we use our lighting. Because the lighting is on all day, just the lighting can make one of the biggest impacts on our environment. Those are just a few examples of how we can help our Earth. But as 
school, we can think of ideas too, together. Let's make this school cleaner and greener. No matter how big or small the change, it can still make a big impact. That's all for today. Go Green! And now, a mindful meditation. Good morning, Good morning Chargers. Chargers. It's Mrs. Salden and Dr. Hottenstein. We're just here today. We wanted to start off uh, our Wellness and Earth Day um, with something that we call mindfulness. And we're going to guide you through a little bit of that in a moment. Um, but it can be something that's helpful when we're feeling uh, stressed or um, upset or anxious. Uh, it can be a really helpful tool to relax and feel a little bit calmer in our brain and our body. So just a little bit of information, uh, a little bit more specific about mindfulness. Um, it's a type of meditation in which you focus on being aware of what you're sensing and feeling uh, in the moment without interruption or judgment. So when we use mindfulness, uh, we can use breathing methods. I know a lot of you know about our hot cocoa breathing, so I know you know this one. Um, it's, uh, we practice with relaxing our body and our mind, and it's called guided imagery. So um, kiddos, that means that when we're imagining or picturing ourselves in your favorite place or, or more than one place, and it's, fun, it's a place that you find relaxing and calm, really happy, um, and you just kind of feel yourself there, you picture yourself. So for Dr. Hattenstein, maybe she uh, pictures herself relaxing at the beach, or maybe it's taking a hike in the woods, um, you know, maybe sitting in a, on a park bench reading a book. Um, so wherever you find that is a, uh, a calming, relaxing place, you can use that vi visualization, picturing in your mind um, where you are that relaxes you. So feel free to pause the video now and take a few moments, um, teachers, if you wouldn't mind, to um, have kiddos share a place that they find relaxing. Um, and teachers, if you share as well, that, that would be great. The nice thing about meditation is that it can be done anywhere. So let's try one together right now. So let's get comfortable and try a meditation together. Begin by bringing your attention into your body. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. You can notice your body seated wherever you're seated, feeling the weight of your body on the chair, on the floor. Take a few deep breaths. And as you take a deep breath, bring in more oxygen, enlivening the body. And as you exhale, have a sense of relaxing more deeply. You can notice your feet on the floor. Notice the sensations of your feet touching the floor. The weight and pressure, vibration, heat. You can notice your legs against the chair. Pressure, heaviness, lightness. Notice your back against the chair. Bring your attention into your stomach area. If your stomach is tense or tight, let it soften. Take a breath. Notice your hands. Are your hands tense or tight? See if you can allow them to soften. Notice your arms. Feel any sensation in your arms. Let your shoulders be soft. Notice your neck and throat. Let them be soft. Relax, soften your jaw, let your face and facial muscles be soft. Then notice your whole body present. Take one more breath. Be aware of your whole body as best you can. Take a breath and then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thanks so much for trying a meditation with us today. Have a healthy self and healthy Earth Day. See everyone. Bye-bye. So let's see what the weather's like today. KJ, how's it looking outside? Hello everyone and welcome to the weather. What a beautiful Earth Day it is. We are looking at a high of 75 today with light winds. The low tonight drops to a nice cool 50 degrees and the weekend looks warm as well with the temperatures in the high 60s. Back to you, Nico. Happy birthday, Jackson P., Ethan K., Audrey M. and Bear C. Happy birthday, everyone. 
Sports update. Tonight the Phillies play the Brewers at 7.05 p.m. This weekend the Sixers continue to work at preceding to the next round of the NBA playoffs. The Flyers play the Penguins on Sunday. You're going down, Mr. Miller. Lastly, the Philly Union take on Montreal. That wraps up today's news from everyone here in the Media Lounge. Thanks for watching CFES News. Have a great weekend, everyone.